So here's my wire harness. Zook 1972 did it for me. If you look at a SIG, you'll see two pictures of the before and after. That's that was mine. All 40 pounds of wire. It was pretty bad. Mine's a uh, since it's OBD2 California, it's a, and an automatic. It had four blue plugs. Uh, pretty much, it's just the engine stuff. Let's see, that's the timing, timing plug, fuel pump relay, and the main relay. See, I'm trying to think. Oh, uh, mass airflow sensor and the uh, air temp in the air box. Uh, data port. Dun, dun, dun. Another relay. Uh, some of these wires are bare because he had to leave them. Uh, that's a fuel pump positive. Uh, the VSS. The uh, TAC. I didn't know I had to have that. Uh, this I probably won't hook up. Because I don't want to drop the tank and drill it out, but these are for the fuel, the uh, fuel tank pressure gauge, which a bunch of y'all said y'all didn't even need it. It still runs fine. Uh, here's the first oxygen sensor, uh, main connectors. Uh, this is the switch, 12 volt start. Let's see, we go down some more. We have. This just says battery 12 volt inline 15 amp fuse. Uh, then we have the wire that goes to the starter, and it says it also primes injectors. Uh, we got the distributor since my coil's in there, it's got a bigger plug. And then we have my crank sensor. And we have the ECM coolant sensor that I showed you earlier. Uh, this hooks up to the fuel injector uh, wires, which also has the uh, throttle body sensor and and the uh, the uh, idle control valve. Uh, these two go to those vacuum switches on the front of the intake uh, grounds. And that's a long wire. This is the second oxygen sensor. Right there. And then we got four plugs right here. And these are all. Let's see, this is the map sensor. And we got the first sensor. The charcoal canister. I have a plastic one, unlike the metal one. And it's got three vacuum uh, switches that connect to it, which are controlled. Uh, one will signal through the uh, fuel pressure sensor, I think. And then the others are just blah, blah. Uh, these are pretty much just them. Which, the good thing about these connectors are, as you notice, they're all different. So you, well, some of them are. But you can't really hook them up wrong. They got these grooves. So pretty idiot proof on that. And then uh, this is the ECM that came out of it. And I got two more as backups. <laughs> Thank you, eBay. And then the fourth plug is for the transmission, which is kind of good and kind of bad. The good is I don't need it really. Uh, the bad is, is I was told there's a second VSS sensor in the transmission. So I honestly don't know if the computer's going to go haywire or not. And here's that fuel fuse box. I don't see anyone using it, but I think it'll come in great for like a winch or something. Because the heck the highest fuse is 80 amps, 50, 60, 30, 60. I mean, you can still buy those at uh, any parts store. So I may hook that up for something else. Who knows?